VA, but I want to ask you this. You might have answered this in the past, and I apologize. Um, but whenever you guys do futures bets on, let's say, NFL teams' win totals or their odds to win the Super Bowl or anything like that, and something happens, like, for instance, the Walton family's about to buy the Broncos. Does that change anything for you, do you think, in the Broncos' eyes? You know, when the commander signed Carson Wentz, zero movement. Uh -huh. no. Zero movement at all. Whenever the Broncos signed Russell Wilson, movement. How you doing keeping moving? What do you pick, how do you guys pick and choose what matters and what doesn't matter to a team in winning and, and moving on and moving the numbers? Honestly, I just think it's it's the upgrade, right? Russell Wilson's an incredible player, an incredible upgrade in Denver. They've got a lot of the supporting pieces around him. Uh, really good defense, probably underachieved in the last couple of years. And when you go and get Russell Wilson, it's not just Russell Wilson. It's who else, you know, who, who else is going to be attracted by playing with him. And I think it's also the intention of the team that you can read into as well. So for that reason, Russell's an easy one for us to make a big upgrade, a big jump in our ratings on quarterback play expected from the Denver Broncos. And I think you saw that reflected in the movement. Carson Wentz is shot, right? I mean, that guy... You know, he was barely serviceable in Indy. Oh, now you see him there. He's a good guy. He's trying his best, but he's not he's going to make guy. a difference. So, therefore, Washington, stay where they are. He's a good lad. He tries his best. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez, a bit like you. He's a bit like you, Pat. No! Oh! Oh, I'm undefeated in WrestleMania. Fuck off. <laughs> um, but is there anything that could potentially happen off the field that would change the way? Like the Browns right now. Whenever you're trying to, and I don't know if you guys even have any win totals, I think, for the, I don't think you guys have released win totals for the Browns yet, but the Deshaun Watson situation is continuing to grow and get bigger, I think, than we could have ever imagined maybe a month ago when we thought this was over. His uh, lawyer, Rusty Hard, goes on the air and is now being quoted in more people's uh, allegations against Deshaun Watson from his radio clip and the NFL allegedly concluded its investigation but we don't know what it's going to do there's a lot uh, to take in there how do you judge that and how do you not just get it completely wrong and lose a shit ton of money for FanDuel whenever you're projecting something like that I think we do sometimes right we, we can't be across the inner workings of what's happening with Deshaun and you know, they're two to one joint favorites now for the division. That's clearly with him at quarterback. They would not be in that position without him. Um, so there's an opportunity there. If you think Deshaun Watson is not going to be a full participant this season, I would strongly suggest having a look at the AFC North outright betting as quickly as you can because, you know, if he's not there and he's not a quarterback, then, you know, they're not no longer a two to one shot. So the short answer is we get these things wrong all the time. We only have the information that you have that's available in the public domain. We don't have any inside information like you're able to get given your NFL um, history. We, we just can't get that information. So we oh, certainly get plenty. Oh, oh, woe is me. Yeah. Oh, we <laughs> care. Sad. Everybody knows more than us. Yeah. We win. You, 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 you were the man with the, uh, with the ball in the Super Bowl. You made a big change to how we think about pricing that. You had that inside information, for example. Wow, that was... That has been good to us, but the coin toss has been pretty fucking ruthless yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah. towards me at that Super Bowl. You know, I get that year-end review of my bets things, and uh, feels like that Super Bowl heads, heads tails <laughs> thing really shows up there every year. God damn it! Do, how do you price that? You do you guys uh, do you flip the coin like a hundred times at the office and just figure it out? Yeah, there's two of us standing here throwing coins at each other. <laughs> 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 old days to figure out how many right, times it'll be heads or tails. All right, Ty's got a question for you. Thanks, John. John, over the last few days, I've been starting to look at some of the uh, cricket lines because the yeah. games are happening so early in the morning, and I kind of want to, you know. Oh, is this like a wake-up ping-pong type yeah, situation? Yeah, very similar. Um, is there any value in that because <laughs> there's so little volume, I'm assuming, being placed on these games, or is it the kind of thing where you guys are actually, you got a couple cricket sharps over there. <laughs> like, I, I don't really understand any of it so i don't know how i'd go about <laughs> betting it but like do you think there's any type of uh, advantage there i heard you spoke about your record ty when mike was on How, how's your record of betting on fandu gone so far oh good not bad yeah, yeah. Good. um so cricket uh i wouldn't bet on cricket if your record is good i mean i i, I don't even know what's happening with cricket i mean it's it, it, the pri the lines are pretty sharp, right? There's actually a lot of international volume that goes into those markets, so you'll find that they're pretty efficient. So mm. I don't think you'll find Sucker an edge bet. there, particularly so if you yeah. don't understand the sport. Good to know. Like me. 
Hi, right, it's great to know for all of us here in America that are waking up in the morning and just got a little bit of an ish to put yeah. 10, 10 bucks on something Ooh. we have never heard of. Awu plus 320. You kidding me? Point Whoa. score? Give me a player, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a stick. Yeah. The guy's got a pitch. It's yeah, he might be a pitcher too. We, yeah, yeah, who knows? knows? Boston Wickets. Good player, though. You, I don't know if you guys could track this or saw this. There was uh, quite an uptick, I assume, in. Uh, ping pong betting in the morning. There was there was like a one month run mm -hmm. where I was waking up in the morning and I was betting handsomely on these ping pong games just because I wanted to wake up with a positive. Let me go ahead and make this bet. Maybe five ten points left. I'm gonna go plus one seventy. Yep. Let's fucking go, Woo. You Find know. The surf. Big big bet on that. I'm gonna go take a shit, a shower. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> this thing's gonna be over. Lost again. Can't lose tomorrow again. Every For like two weeks straight, I was just betting on shit I didn't know. It sounds like that is you guys sitting <laughs> in the poker room in Vegas at like 3 a.m. when all the drunks come into the poker room and all the people that actually understand poker are sitting there waiting to just take all of the money from all the drunks. Is that what all the bullshit sports are on FanDuel for you guys? Like you guys are just sitting there like, come on in, come on. Oh yeah, bet on cricket, this is fun. Sure. Why not? You've never heard of it, come on in. Oh, ping pong, you don't even know who that person is. Come on in, we don't either. That's what I think you're gonna try to give away, but that's not the case at all, right? No, that's 100% not the case, Pat. It's uh, an opportunity for someone to have a bet. As you said, it's always on. Uh, plenty of content there for people to bet on. Designed to be completely recreational. Somebody to come in, have a small wager, watch the game. It's over in 10 minutes on to the next one. That's really all that's behind it. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like... I don't know, when you go completely defeated in something, you obviously have to blame the person you're competing against for cheating. And it sounds like with what you just said about cricket, yeah, that was the case. Don't bet on ping pong either, yeah. right, Connor. Yeah, John, how closely are you guys monitoring like trade or free agency kind of scenarios? Like, for instance, when AJ Brown got traded during the draft, you immediately go and change their odds to win the division, the Super Bowl, and all those things. And then even with the NBA free agency, uh, DeAndre Ayton, the guy that you actually fucked us all over with with his over in points, yeah. if you remember correctly. Oh yeah, that was. You, yep. John, that yeah. was you. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty messed up. He also missed it by half a point. But, uh, <laughs> like, are you watching that, especially now that the rumors are he's not going to Phoenix and you're kind of, as soon as he signs, you got to change the odds for that team as well? Uh, yeah, we're certainly monitoring all that super closely. Like you said, the key players, key skill positions in the football, obviously seeing what's happening in the NBA, you know, where these players are going to end up makes a decent amount of difference. The only thing I would say is, in general, people tend to overvalue Outside of quarterbacks in football, they certainly overvalue wide receivers and running backs. And you know, you, you should see very little movement in those lines from our side once those people change. Yeah, DeAndre Ayton's kind of the same. He's not going to make a huge difference to Phoenix chances next season. Uh, they'll obviously need to fill that hole. And can they fill that with somebody as talented as him? The suit the system may be better. It might actually be net positive for the Suns, I would say. Draft night, you guys just have a group text when A.J. Brown gets traded? Are you all in the office or you just say, fuck it, I'm changing it myself? How's that go? Yeah, I mean, most of the time it's the guys, honestly. Like, I'm watching all of that stuff, but the vast majority of the guys, the, the guys are here in the office you know, waiting for that breaking news, understanding what the implications of all the trades are. You know, trying to trade that in real time is really difficult, right? Every pick, we traded it live here in New Jersey. We were allowed to offer two picks down the line. So after the first pick went, we were on to pick four and so on. Uh, trying to understand the implications of each pick on what was going to happen two or three picks later was a lot of fun and one that was really difficult for us to make any money. We actually lost a lot of money on the draft this yeah, year. Yeah, gotcha. Go. That's why it's a draft spectacular. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's one of the reasons why it's such a big night for all of us.